Hello, Monsters Man here, and welcome back to Total War Troy and part 15 of my Rhesus campaign. We've decided to, in a very ballsy manner, attack a couple of stacks heading towards our coastline with Rhesus Army, and we've come across a battlefield which is absolutely not what I want. It's a lot of trees, it's loads of mud. This I, I rely heavily on my chariots, so my chariots are going to be absolutely fucking useless here. Not to mention that the enemy is fielding uh, quite a few of these... Elysium Warriors, Wretched Shades, Spear Masters, and uh, the, the uh, what's, what's the missile unit called again? The Marksman. Marksman of Elysium, yeah. These guys are ghosts, they are unbreakable, and they are pretty tough. And we're fighting on mud, so, you know. Yay! Yeah. Okay, so Jarrett's coming around the flank, because there's like a little slither of uh, non treed hills over here so we can use this to sort of like try and ram down into the enemy army meanwhile our forces are advancing through the forest on the left flank and on the right flank it's being held by the worshippers of pan because these guys are striders and as such they are not afflicted with any debuff the foe has by uh, terrain so while they are medium infantry themselves they don't get any debuff for being in the mud they love the mud jumping up and down in muddy puddles that's what they do the pepper pigs of the trojan world probably and so we're going to hold this flank with these boys by using them in the muds to give ourselves an advantage and the enemy a debuff meanwhile in the trees we're sending the the, 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 the spear boys to attack the enemy army while the giants are going to hold off rear if the giants fall then we're in a lot of trouble the chariots though ramming into the enemy army and doing what they do best which is killing everything in sight slaughter them Six chariots are bullshit that's why I fucking love them. Take a little bit of fire there, which is not ideal, but ramming You're straight here. into the back of that young, attack. well, militia even, unit, and breaking them entirely. Young spears also being run down. We do have some giant shades. They are like giants, but ghosts, so that's fun. And they do a lot of damage to large units, I think. So it's not a good idea to ram my chariots into them, really. <laughs> ah, that's not good. Okay, anyway, meanwhile, we have a big blob of enemy units in these trees over here. And they are throwing themselves at the worshippers of Pan in the tr in the mud. The harpies landing in against... I mean, the harpies are fairly fragile anyway. Worshippers of Pan slamming into the Wretched Shades. Wretched Shades, not a particularly good unit, but with 65 melee defense, they're not bad. Mind you, we've got 76 melee attacks, so, you know, that's a whole thing. Plus, we get the charge bonus as well is fairly good plus we don't get the debuff because these guys here are medium infantry which means they get debuff being in the mud i think it's like an 80 so it's a 20 percent debuff i think to their stats which is actually pretty major chariots continuing to roll heart. over everything that gets in their way which is exactly what we need we're trying to get them out of the trees here uh, it's slow going in the trees in the trees chariots are slowed by about 80 percent so that's you know makes them pretty slow and we should be able to see their current speed is 32. Yep, that's not great. Uh, but we have managed to lock down a large number of infantry units in these trees no over here. Meanwhile, the giants continuing to fend off attacks from our rear. So far, so good. The chariots chasing down the enemy missile units like the marksmen of Elysium. But in the mud, they're going to be very, very slow. Again, mud. I think, again, it's like being in the trees, basically. So it slows them down to about 32 speed, which is uh, not very fast for chariots. In the mud, the worshippers of Pan making short work of this militia unit and doing a huge amount of damage to the Wretched Shades. Yep, they're getting absolutely wrecked. Some chariots have come in and attacked us and done quite a lot of damage because I say chariots are bullshit. Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. They are trying to make a very slow getaway. Yeah, I, ch I chariot's just, just the slowest thing. Uh, the Mares of Diomedes are even... They, they are heavy chariots, so they get debuffed even more. They only have 25 speeds in muds. Despite this, we can still run people over, and uh, Rhesus is... He's still got a speed of 58, actually. Why does he have a speed? Maybe, maybe characters aren't affected by muds as much as others? Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Not I. The battle's going fairly well. Got those wretched shades surrounded in the trees. We're holding the line with the giants. 
And the big blob you, you in the center is sure. slowly shrinking. It's a little bit dicey, though. Chariot is continuing to run units over. We've managed to knock out most of their missile infantry, which is good. And in the mud over here, we have the Wretched Shades completely surrounded. They're going down. We have the upper hand. Getting a little bit of fire there from the renowned Slingers, but that's no problem. And this battle has desynced. Oh, fuck. I hate it when it does that. Because I definitely... These chariots definitely you didn't come all the way down here. And I definitely didn't lose a unit. And this this was going a lot better because these guys were actually engaging these units rather than and these marksmen of Lysium weren't here basically this was going a lot better looks like we'll still win this anyway so the mud is going fine we are taking down the enemy hero he's surrounded and getting bludgeoned to death the chariots despite the mud are still doing a lot of damage to enemy units and uh, really, it's just here where the things have really gone pear-shaped. In the actual battle, we had these guys surrounded and penned in, and they were slowly getting chewed up. And these marksmen of Elysium weren't getting free shots off on us. They were in this melee as well, and uh, slowly getting annihilated. Troy has a real problem with battle d so I don't know what it is. I'm not going to lie, that was... that was a tough fight. Just a tough fight. Let's take the replenishment. I mean, it was a ballsy move to take on everything at the same time, but we did it. Seafaring warrior. Look at that. King Rhesus. Right, let's finish you off. Can we do that without killing anyone? No, that's quite annoying. Uh, okay. This army shouldn't be too problematic. Agreed. We're going to come round behind the enemy army with the chariots while we engage the front with our infantry. And then we're just going to, you know, run them over to death because that seems to be a fairly effective strategy. Also, I've just realised the development in progress is still up in there in the corner. I, I really should take it off the, the development build. Put it on the actual build. I keep forgetting to do that. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Yes, yes they have. Sad times for them. It's such a pretty game though. Oh. Giants moving in to engage the spearmen. That's it. Get them, boys. Yes, we like. And the chariot's now moving in to engage those javelins before they can get too much damage thrown our way. Of course, we get uh, buffed by Rhesus in his chariots, rolling around beside us. Leader of men, and yep, that heavy javelin thrower is broken. And they lose all cohesion and break. And the rest of the army is not going to be far behind. As the chariots swing back around to finish the job. Ooh, yes, that's going to that's gonna be quite nasty. Break them. Destroy them! Let's be brutally honest here. Chariots are complete, not a bullshit, but you can pry them from my cold, dead hands. My skills are legend. Okay. King Rhesus. Coming into dock. I think that was satisfactory. Is 25 the highest rank? I'm going to find the skill we haven't got yet. Is it this one? Uh, more morale. Uh, that one? I guess that one. We'll go with that one. Descendant of Ares. Can we make it to land if... No. So I won't march, because then it would... Oh, now we're stuck marching. Perfect. 
Fuck. Fuck's sake. Well, I may as well fucking march then, mightn't I? I swear to God, the movement in Total War. What the fuck? It's a fucking strategy game. We can take them. You should, at, at the very shot. least, be able to work out how far you can fucking move in a turn. Make them pay. Right. Uh, you are a problem. We will claim are you victory. allied with Do the... Not no. Right. Persuade me. Oh, I can peace out with you. And you'll give me stuff. Okay. Uh... No, I just want all your... I want, give, me, give me your fucking food. Give me your 110. Yeah. What about, like, a thousand? That's more like it. There we go. Yeah, give me all your food, you little bitch. As fate to And then fuck off. Get the fuck out of my face. Death or glory. Yes, one or the other. Uh, right, you can hold out for other... How many turns? Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Uh, one. Excellent. One more turn, and that's going to be ours. Which is good. Food levels are adequate. We have adequate food. Thanks, Brexit. Uh, right, influence is going up here, which is fantastic. We have the garrison there, which makes that very tanky. They're unlikely to attack it. They're probably. I'm hoping this army is going to go after this one here. I, I have high hopes that they will. What are you up to? Okay, you're not attacking me. That's okay. You are heading north, though. That's a problem. There's a lot of armies dicking about over here. I guess my honey pot isn't working as well as I'd wanted it to. I mean, it would, you know, help if any other factions were at war with the whole of fucking Greece, but I guess it's just me. Of course, I can't reinforce. I forgot that. I forgot I can't reinforce, and I guess they spotted the ambush. Uh, is am I not in? Oh well. Uh, can I actually? Oh, valiant defeat, really? Because it says it says I should be. It says I should be. Okay, well, I guess I guess we'll be fighting this one then. Obviously, our plan to do a little ambush didn't work. It probably got spotted, but um, obviously we're a little bit far out to actually defend the settlements. We'll Never mind. This should be fine. To be honest, I'm, I'm surprised we can all resolve it. I think it's because they've got a lot of heavy javelin throwers. The thing is, they haven't got a lot of actual infantry, so they can try and break through our, our front line. But we've got quite a lot of javelins as well, so we just need to lock them in place and pelt them with javelins as they run away and then hunt down the heavy javelin throwers. So... That's what we're going to be doing. So javelins continue to rain down on the heads of these light swordsmen. We've got yet more shielded spearmen moving up as well. Seems pretty good. And what we're going to do is actually this uh, this, this light swordsman unit is actually going to join the fight against this uh, Thracian spearman unit. And what we can do is bring this unit out and around here to plug this gap and then bring the javelins around behind them and we can get some nice flanking shots on uh, this blob of infantry which should be quite good. Meanwhile the, the enemy javelins are chucking javelins and it's doing some damage but um, it's not as effective as I imagine they would like and once we've dealt with their infantry we can hunt them down no problem. And you can see their infantry is not doing... I, I do like their orange and... Like, not orange. Green and purple. That's the colour. Green and purple heady things. They're like... The, they're, they're quite neat, aren't they? So Forest Gumbish is coming in on the flank. That's it, boys. Get in there. Get some javelins right in them. Taking a little bit of javelin fire ourselves, but uh, that's okay. Because uh, they are not... They're not very happy. And we've got worshippers of Pan. We've also got these war chanters. We can move in to join the party as well. And since they're not attacking this, we're going to send some of our units out at uh, this entrance to go and sort of attack these units around here. Spears now moving in to attack the rear. And this has turned into an absolute turkey shoot. These light swordsmen getting hit from every direction. There's nothing they can do about it. And that's going to cause some panic. The enemy hero has decided to come down to try and stop 
the javelins. There's only one of them. He's got a big... Oh, Your hero ow. Is under ow. Ow. Stop that. Oh, oh, that guy's leg fell off. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, well. So now I just need to hunt down all of the heavy javelin throwers, which is going to be more annoying than anything else. Because once you've locked them into combat, you just need to kill them. And all the time you're going to be hit by yet more javelins. The enemy units are actually fleeing into the direction of our city centre, the absolute bastards. I don't want them rallying and then going, oh, we can capture this. So uh, more javelins, I think. Doctor's orders. Very nice. Okay, good stuff. Continuing to hunt down the heavy... Uh, they're just running away and shooting us when, when we attack one of the units. But of course, that way, they're just going to keep losing units. And I don't really think like we should have had to fight this battle. It felt, it felt like an ultra resolve to me. I mean, they're getting some javelin shots in, but... Realistically, to do that, they have to sacrifice one of their units to hold us back for a little while, and they're never going to do enough damage with one. And they'll run out of javelins as well. And at that point, it's just a case of jumping up and down on them until they all die. So as we spread out and wipe out heavy javelin units after heavy javelin units, I think it's safe to say this, this garrison has successfully defended their settlement. Desired effect anyway. Let us. I'll take the resources, seeing as the replenishment isn't really going to help, for fuck's sake. You guys. Alright, Athena's leveled down. Portents in the sky for somewhere, which I'm not too worried about. Don't care about that. Rhesus is a sailor. A lemon is a procrastinator. Oh, you... Get the fuck out of here. Right, you're dead. Kill the lot. That's the plan. Do something like that. My reputation grows. Right. We have Achilles heading north. King Rhesus. So something needs to be done about that. I will do it. Disembarking. Right, let's go and heal up for a minute. You are now taking attrition. So you you may decide to come and play, or, or you might just sit there and just die. Either way, oh god, we've got so many fucking stacks, but not many strong enough to take on a garrisoned settlement. So I think actually okay, Singos, you probably do need. I'm gonna have to get rid of that, aren't I? As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna have to. Because otherwise I'll lose a settlement anyway. I need another army, don't I? But if I hit the next administration tier, it goes from 30 to 50% extra food. Which is too much food. I don't really feel like I'm getting... Well, I guess... Are you guys actually doing something? I have Looks... high hopes of reaching an agreement. Okay, but you still don't want to be friends with me. Like, not even a non-aggression pact. You like me 105 and not even a fucking non-aggression pact. Like, why? Does it say why? Relative faction strength. But I'm a lot stronger than you. So, I mean, I mean, we will make a sacrifice to honor my divine father. You're not even. Will then you we talk. join my war against Mycenae? Oh, you will. An admirable result. That's slightly surprising, but cool. Certainly. Okay, you're just you're just gonna join my war against everyone. Well, that's fine. I'm good. 
Good. I mean, that, that's resolved any real... I mean, I, hopefully that will draw off some of their armies. I don't think I can get another stack uh, simply because we have so many of these little bitty ones down here, which are a huge problem for me. We can, though. Not you. Uh, no. That one. That's the one I want. I want a countless host. Can I have a countless host, please? You guys are yes. The best warrior yes. Let me summon this army. Oh, I had another army growing. I had forgotten that. Well, good. That is good. That is that's that's good. That is good. That's very. That's a very positive thing that just happened there, so I'm going to get if I do something like that, um, hopefully the problem is I'm about to lose some food aren't I, because here comes fucking Achilles again I always knew we'd win. I'm just going to have to just book it over here, I think, and hope that they don't want to. I can, I, can, I can get this, can't I? And this. We'll head over there. You heal for one turn. And then I think what we're going to do with you is maybe just, like, start smashing shits. For no particular reason other than just to try and intercept them a little bit. This cannot be There's Odysseus. Good. I was worried Odysseus wasn't going to show up, but he has. So that's fun. Let me at them. A lemon. You can have cleave. Or the threads of fates. Interesting. What does this do? Armor of missile units or spear units? Spear units. Because we have our lovely Hydra defenders here. To be honest, I want to replace them with more Hydra units. Well, I want to replace the these boys, the woodsmen, with better units. But, you know, kind of, fuck me, you can move fast. I mean, there's no point fighting that. Literally no point fighting that. I don't, I don't have enough food settlements. I need to secure food settlements because if I don't f secure food settlements, I, I can't recruit enough armies to fend off the endless waves that are just hitting me. Uh, you want some stone? Sure. Oh, I rejected it. Whoops. I meant to accept it, but I rejected it. Bugger. It's not like I'm not killing their armies either. Like I've definitely fucked them up multiple times. They are getting nowhere. Yeah, I know. A lemon has more movement range. Good. I could reach you. I think intercepting Odysseus is probably the more the more pressing more pressing opportunity here. Plus he's marching which means I should be able to kill him good and proper. Odysseus was the first faction I ever played in Total War Troy, and um, I wanted to like him, but I'm going to be honest, his, his faction mechanic feels more like a... It, it feels more like punishment than anything else. Basically, it's that any settlement that isn't a coastal one, you can only build... Yeah, any settlement that isn't a coastal, you can only build the main building. There's no other buildings you can build. And in exchange, you get a level 5 port that you can build in your main settlements. That's that's the trade-off, which is... Oh, and you, can do, you have like a Skaven undercity mechanic, except you can do it... It's only, it's not like money resources, it's only just 
money. Uh, no, recruitment you can do. That's it. Which is, you know, fine, I guess. It just it doesn't feel doesn't feel great. Anyway, poison attacks coming in. Under attack. Ooh, yes, that's very nice. And you can see these guys here, the young spears charging in against the Hydra defenders and uh, slowly dropping dead from poison attacks, which is exactly what we want. A large blob of young spears over on this flank dying from poison while the woodsmen attack them from the front. Victory is close enough to taste. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's not going to be a tough battle. Meanwhile, Odysseus has flanked around us and he's hiding in the trees over here, little shit in fact what he's doing is, is shooting the spearmen of spear masters of elysium that we have over here um which is fine i guess i'm not really that bothered about it it's like yeah do, you do you mate and yet the hydra is racking up the kills with 189 kills so far holy shit the big old snack doing some big snacker things 194 he just does a lot of damage and just that constant erosion of health from the poison attacks. It's its really quite nasty. Lots of units fleeing now. And our chariots are just about to uh, manoeuvre and do a little charge. Because why the hell not? Yeah, you can see the uh, the Hydra buffing itself with virulent blood. Which means attackers are affected by potent poison. So that's just like poison damage, but more. And the Hydra is up to 210 kills. She'll do it. And here come the chariots. Just running down any survivors. Nice easy battle. This this army needs to be buffed up a little bit more. I need some more spear spear hydra boys and spear archer boys. And maybe a priest? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, at least that took Odysseus out. Of course, being that he's marching, he's now dead. Up, anchor. And we got a hat. Lovely. We can take them. Get going, men. Does mean we're going to lose another settlement. Uh, and potentially another one. We do have defences here, which is good, but there's nothing defending that flank. How much gold do we have? Enough? No. Okay, we'll just... You'll just have to book it over here. You're going to come and help, even though you can't reinforce us, but that's not the, that's not a major issue. And... Yeesh. Okay, well, well, we'll continue to siege him down for another turn. Hopefully that will kill him off, and uh, then we can secure this settlement over here as well. Uh, that's not really helping us with food, though. So, could we potentially find someone who has a shit... T who likes us and has a shit ton of food? You like us. You have... A shit ton of food. You would like gold, but there's no particular resource that you are. Troy would like bronze. Really? I foresee gains to be made here. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Um. Give me a thousand food. Two thousand food. I will give you four, six, five bronze a turn. I will. Okay. I mean, you know, we're going to lose some bronze, but on the other hand, uh, we now got plenty of food, so that's a bit of a win. But I think we. Oh, hello. Scourge of the Achaeans. God, there's a shit ton of armies in range. Maybe we can lure them in. Ruthless warrior. Let's. Oh, it's just so many armies. Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least eight enemy armies that I can see at the moment. At least now, uh, Sarpedon is is at war. This may improve both our situations. So 
maybe that will be good. He is strength rank three. I am weirdly strength rank one, despite the fact that I'm massively outnumbered. So that's good, I guess. But at this rate, I'm just not making any gains. I'm losing territory because I can't defend everything I have at the moment. To be honest, I probably need to sort this out ASAP. And maybe try and get these boys on side. Let's find out what's being proposed then. They like me. So maybe I should try and keep that going. And then I can bring more armies over to this flank to sort of help that out. That would probably be the better option. In fact, I'm going to bring this army over here. Uh, just, to, just to kind of kick that off. And see if we can sort of fend off the Greek assault. I again or still because they just haven't stopped have they the buggers but that's gonna have to wait until next time thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next episode